Okay, finally we have uh, Tony Han, who's the director of Baidu's Autonomous Vehicle Unit. Right, do you have a microphone? Hello, can you hear me? I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Is my slides on? <clears throat> okay, cool. So, um, hi, uh, great pleasure to be here to talk about recent progress in autonomous driving car from Baidu. And I'm Tony Han, the chief scientist of Baidu Autonomous Driving Unit. So, <clears throat> as the two speakers has already mentioned, you know, why do we want to do autonomous driving? Okay, why do we want to, why do we want to build a self-driving car? Okay, so here we summarize three laws, solution to Isaac Asimov. So law number one, safety, okay? We have already <coughs> talked about so many things about how the mortality rate of the accidents. So in China, 500 people lost their life or seriously injured every day. And actually, in US, we have this kind of numbers, but actually, according to the statistics, statistics the two countries that lost most lives are India and China, okay? And so <coughs> if we can actually make a really safe self-driving car, we impact human society a lot, okay? So that's, we don't need to argue about it. The question is, can we build such a safe uh, self-driving car? And, and, and honestly, I see hope. Law number two, efficiency, okay? Today, we all suffered by the traffic, and in China, we suffered by the air pollution. All of this actually can be largely solved by self-driving car. Like if you look at the efficiency, you know, human driving efficiency when we pass the crossing road is very low. And lots of time, like in this kind of gathering or convention, you'll be here, but finding a parking lot is a nightmare. And also, according to the statistics, on average, Beijing citizens spend 115 minutes to get you to the work, okay? Number three, <clears throat> the economy. We believe by combining with the car sharing and the self-driving car, we can make our life much easier and make your uh, transportation much cheaper. And you may ask, like, you know, everybody see the icon of autonomous driving, and there's a huge 64 lines valent LiDAR, and if you work on it today, even you, sp you spend like $80,000, you have to wait for half a year in the line to get such a piece of equipment. Unless, you know, you can build yourself, or you can like Baidu and uh, Ford invest in Valentine. So, <clears throat> but in future, uh, there's some projection and promise from Valentine, like they will make this uh, hardware much cheaper. So, we believe soon the self-driving car can really help us to travel much economically. Okay, Baidu start. Okay, cool. Baidu started this in 2014, and after eight months, we drive in the freeway. You know, we start from scratch, eight months, that's our results in 2004, in 2015. That was the only autonomous driving car in China passed ISO 26262. And that was achievement uh, like in 2014, uh, 2015. In 2016, what has we done? What have we done? So here's <coughs> something we want to do, okay? Driving in China is really a level four plus challenge. And actually the road sign there, that is the real, the, that the reality scene, I have personally been there. Actually, that's very close to the place where I go. I went to college. You know, it's in Xi Jinping, Beijing. And you know, if you are the first time there, I bet one hundred dollars you won't get out within one hour. Okay, if you want to follow the traffic sign. And lots of time in China, while you're driving, the traffic law is a recommendation. It's not a law. Okay, so which means you know, you can do a lot of things 
as long as the monitor or on the surveillance camera didn't catch you, okay. So there's so many things you have to handle. It's a big, big challenge. So what do we do? Of course, like today, AI Frontier, we truly believe in AI, and Baidu has expertise in AI. And we want to apply our build-up and our technology in AI to really make the level four plus autonomous driving in China possible. So a little bit history about AI. Today, glad to meet many, many friends and many, many researchers I truly respect. There are three, there are ups, upturns and downturns. Today, well, I would say it's hot, hot, war, uh, warmer weather in, in, in AI. Will the winter come? I personally don't think so, because today we see so many applications. You know, there's up, upturn, downturns. Previously, people talk about AI and artificial, uh, AI, artificial neural network, and all of this kind of thing. But today, we really see so many applications. I truly believe this time will make it really work. And you know, a little bit history. You know, in 2012 or 2011, when we saw the amazing results from Microsoft speech recognition from Jeff Hinton and Lee Deng, Lee will give a, a talk in speech uh, next. So I, I look forward to hearing that too. After that, people just feel like, oh, deep learning is great. And then we apply to image processing. Uh, I'm sorry, computer vision and object recognition. You see so many graphs, and there's a breakthrough. Uh, usually, it's just like, cut an error rate in half and another half. So today, nobody doubt that deep learning will really work, and especially, I truly believe it will make self-driving car possible. So <clears throat> now we are trying to do it in the, in the urban area, and uh, we have a, Baidu have a Baidu US research, and uh, Baidu autonomous driving unit has an has a office in, and also 100 engineers in Sunnyvale. So, we start to test in Sunnyvale. By the way, if you want to get a license, you can. So if you really want to test your car in, in, in California, just take some efforts and apply for the license, okay, and then you can test it. So could you, Mike, could you click the video? Here's what we have in 2016. Autos, auto.
Predators targeted. Okay. Uh, actually, that video uh, is actually cut by my engineers, by our engineers, not not by professionals. And the soundtrack is played by the band of the engineers in our team. So you won't get it in the internet. Played by ourselves. So, you know, uh, I'm leading, leading the perception team, so I always like to talk about perception. So uh, we have achieved several benchmark results, and one thing I actually want to point out is like, in the computer vision community, we want to benchmark things like ImageNet and Kitty, and Kitty is the benchmark data set we always compete with each other to show our capability into your computer vision tech, your deep learning technique. And if you look at Kitty, the number one is do I, which stands for by do I for autonomous driving, and it's our team. And we are actually leading by big margin. If you look at number two and number two, number three, they, they win over each other by 0 0.1, 0 0.2 percent, but we are leading 1 percent for almost like two or three months. Okay, HTMAP and localization. I totally agree with what Xiao Yin has mentioned. You know, if you really want to do level four, map everything, map as many, many as you can. And, and uh, in, in China, actually, there's a different story. That is, you have to have a special license to do HD map. Otherwise, it's illegal. And there's only 14 companies in China have such a license. Like here, have to collaborate with Tencent to actually do the HD map collection. Baidu has the license, and it's one of the first company doing this HD map collection. And our localization is to the level of centimeter. And we have tons of tons of HD map. The other thing I want to actually give a little bit heads up to all the collab, our friends and colleagues doing um, autonomous driving. Don't bring, bring 3D points cloud data out of China. That's obviously illegal. And the other way around, if you have some point cloud data and you want to bring to China for annotation for study, that's okay. US law is allow it. But the other way, you know, don't put it in hard disk and uh, travel with you. This is our control controllability of self driving cars. Okay. So actually, it's at least driver better than me. Okay. I'll go quickly. We are recruiting. Okay, we have 100 engineers in Silicon Valley and 300 engineers in Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen. And we are still actively recruiting. We have a booth here. If you want to do autonomous driving and you like our China story, China first story, join us. And because of our breakthrough in autonomous driving, uh, Baidu is ranked at number two in the uh, 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 smartest, 50 smartest company in 2016 by MIT Tech Review. And we invest Valentine to make sure we can get the sensors we want. And we have our China first strategy, and uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping visit our booth whenever he has a chance. And this is the single spotlight highlight in uh, 2016 World, Conf uh, World Internet Conference. Just like today, autonomous driving is definitely the, the shining point in CES. So, so we want to work together with OEMs, car companies, government, local government, central government, and universities to build up this ecosystem. So Mike, could you click? So I will end with a nice video. We actually, this is a little bit of video we do in the 2016 World Conference in Wuzhen, in a small town in China. It's in Chinese comment, but I'm pretty sure you will understand what they're saying by expression. There are different cars, you know, we use all kinds of cars. I've been a teacher for 10 years. Let's see if I can get the new technology. Because I've been taking the test many times, I've never taken the test. I've heard of the Baidu car, it's very powerful, so I wanted to try it. We did our trial operation in Wuzhen. It's a fleet of the autonomous driving cars in Wuzhen. It's been a long time since I've been here. I've never had the chance to get the risk.
我们呢已经拥有了 L 四的这个无人驾驶技术，所以我们在四个城市呢就进行了这个实际动测。在顶上那个激光雷达可以三百六十度的不断旋转。零点零五秒就可以扫描周边一百二十米的一个距离，那比人眼可是精确的多了。百度无人车呢，它有一个汽车大脑，这个汽车大脑呢，它会不断的学习和积累驾驶经验，并且把这些驾驶经验呢分享给其他的无人车，它在判断场景的时候就比一般的司机更为的精准。我觉得无人车简直是真的太酷了，呃，解决了我没有驾照的问题。这样呢，我以后想去哪儿就去哪儿。它反应很快，这对汽车的安全很重要。只有这么一台车的话，我自己也能够开车出门了。无人车的出现一定会改变人类未来的生活。那我们希望的是，无人车可以更多的走进普通人的生活，让更多的普通人因此而受益。OK，OK，That's、okay. okay. all，Thank you。